Five adventure seekers dive deep into the abyss of the ocean to explore the wreck of Titanic. Little they know it's their last dive. The founder and CEO of Ocean Gate, Dr. Rush, built the vessel. On June 18, 2023, he along with four of his passengers started the dive towards Titanic. The wreck of Titanic is around 13,000 feet below sea level. The pressure at these depths is around 6,000 psi. This pressure is so immense that even the most sophisticated vessels cannot survive long enough. To understand better the extreme pressure at these depths, let's imagine somehow a human is teleported to the depth where Titanic rests. Within milliseconds, the human will be crushed like a can. This is the reason why all submersibles are restricted to certain depths and are certified to dive to these depths. Dr. Rush and his passengers were slowly descending towards the Titanic in his vessel Titan. At first, everything was going as per the plan, when suddenly, after 90 minutes into the dive, all contact was lost with Titan. Despite all efforts by the crew when they could not contact or trace Titan, authorities were notified. Immediately, a full-scale search mission was launched, and many countries participated for the search mission. Even if the sub was somewhere down there waiting to be rescued, time was running out as they had a limited amount of oxygen left in the vessel. While the search was going on, U.S. Navy detected some underwater sounds, which raised hopes for everyone as it was described as banging sounds believed to be coming from inside the sub. But U.S. Navy later realized that it might be a sound of a sudden implosion from the sub, but they kept it as a secret, because if they had released the info to the public, this might cause a sudden halt in the search mission. An implosion is the abrupt, violent collapse of something, or in simple words, it's the exact opposite of explosion. This happens so fast that human brain has no time to even process the pain, as it takes up to 150 milliseconds for the brain to process pain, and the implosion happened in just about 20 milliseconds. The sub would have imploded and killed its crew so fast that the five people aboard never knew it happened. So what happened exactly and why? According to experts, the sub was not approved for such depths. But the main issue came from the carbon fiber hull of the sub. Passengers pointed out crackling sounds coming from the hull as the sub dived in previous missions. Additional factors were the cheap material used in the construction of the sub. Surprisingly, Dr. Rush was well aware of these things and have been warned by many of his team members. Following the incident, OceanGate stopped all of their operations and is under investigation and a lot of criticism. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated for our upcoming videos.